Hey guys, this is Juan Zuniga and this is Jensek and today we're going to talk about the final video for back to school and today we're going to talk about the best back to school apps for students. The first app that I like and I enjoy every time I use is LastPass. The reason that I like LastPass is because I have and I use complicated passwords and I really can't remember all those passwords. So having one place and one password to remember is a must. I can save all my complicated passwords in this one place and all I have to do is remember the master password and as soon as I won't go into this website I can log in by using this username and password without me having to remember all that information. This way, all my accounts are safe with different passwords that are super complicated and they're going to be a little bit harder for people to try to hack. Now, I know a lot of people are not creative enough to create their passwords. They do password 12345 or password 54321 and those are not very secure. And if you're the type of person that is not creative when it comes to passwords, that's fine. Don't be worried. With this app, actually, you can create the passwords and they'll save them for you. I'll have a link down below so you guys can check it out this app is free but you can actually get the premium version where you can actually have it in different devices all working with the same password so check it out guys and let me know what you think the second app is for those people that actually use Microsoft Office I'm one of those people and the app that I like using is Microsoft Word I'm always gonna go and I hate being stuck in the office so when I have to review something I can do it on my phone on the go and if there's any edits that I want to do I just do them right on my phone I don't have to wait to be in front of the computer or take out my laptop everything's on my phone now if you're like me you're always checking your homework or your papers and make sure everything's good this is an app you need to get that way if you're in the bus on your way to school you can just sit there you don't have to take your laptop out you can read the paper that you have and just make the edits there and it has everything that you need from Microsoft so this is a must-have app for any college student that uses Microsoft Office. The second app is Graphic Calculator. This is an amazing app. Graphing calculators are very, very expensive. They run around $80 and some of them a lot more. Now, there's no reason for you to spend the extra $80 or $100 or $140 for a graphing calculator if you already have a phone. So all you have to do is download this app and you can actually start using their graphing calculator for free. So check it out guys, I'll have a link down below. The fourth app that I recommend is Mathway. Now, math sucks especially if you're not good at it or if you don't understand it. So having an app like this is a must. I wish I would have had this when I was in high school and college. It would have made my life so much easier. With this app, if you have any issues with math, all you have to do is go to the app, put the problem in, and then it will help you answer the question. It will give you the answer. Now, if you actually want to see each step by step, you have to pay a premium for it. It all depends on what it is you want to do. If you want algebra or geometry, etc., you'll pay a different fee or you can pay for the whole year. Now, although this app gives you all the answers, I don't recommend cheating or using this app just to get the answers. You actually need to learn it. This is just to help you understand it better by looking at the steps or just by seeing the answer and you figuring out the steps. So if you're having issues with math, check this app out. It's gonna save you a ton of time. And finally, the final app that I recommend is Evernote, especially if you get the Evernote Moleskin. I talked about this notebook before and I'll have a link up here so you guys can check it out. I love Evernote because you can actually have your notes in there, you can type them, you can search them, you can scribble on them, you can add a picture, you can attach a picture, you can actually add a voice memo to it so you can record the whole lecture while you're typing just in case you forget something or you miss something during your lecture. And the great thing about it is that it's free unless you actually want the premium version. I think the free version is more than enough. You can have different virtual notebooks in there so you can categorize it by subject, you can search and you can find your notes with no issue. So I think Evernote is a must have app for any student that way they can be more organized, they can have their notes and they can study better. So check it out guys. Guys, I'll have link, the link down below as well. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if there's any other app that students could find beneficial and leave a comment down below. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.